Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to summer train or summer prune those apple trees. Come join me in the chaos. All right, so this is summer pruning or training of first year trees. And so if you have first year trees, you could probably leave them. I just know that if I leave these, I'm gonna be cutting off a lot of material. And so what I'm looking at with these first year trees is I'm looking at how, um, how flexible these branches are and how much weight these branches are gonna be able to hold up. I'm not gonna have fruit this year and I might not have fruit next year, but I might, um, chances are I'll probably cut that fruit off so it doesn't break any branches. But as you look at these, you can tell that these aren't very strong. Next year they might be slightly stronger, but in order to further increase the strength of these branches, once they get to a certain point, I'm going to want to prune them or tip them but you don't want to just blindly go up to your apple tree and start cutting branches. And in order to explain this, I need to explain something called apical dominance. So apical dominance basically is that branches will continue growing along their length. So for example, this branch right here, it's going to continue elongating. It's going to keep getting longer and longer and longer until either a hormone triggers it to start branching or damage occurs. And I can synthesize that damage just by coming in and cutting off a piece of that branch. And the moment I cut that off, the branch is going to start repairing itself. And then after that, it's going to create or uh, designate a new apical position. In other words, if I cut right above, say this leaf right here, what'll happen is a bud just above that leaf will start to develop. And as that happens, it's going to create a branch that's going to start growing in the direction of that leaf. So, if I imagine this tree, the way I want it to look someday, if I want it to say, look like a vase, then I'm probably gonna want these branches to branch outwardly. So if this branch is facing this direction, I'm probably gonna wanna pick this leaf to be my apical leaf so that the bud just above that leaf will turn into the new apical branch. Basically what that means is I wanna cut just above this leaf. If I cut just above say this leaf, then the new branch is eventually gonna grow that way. And if you do this wrong, you'll end up having branches crossing along the middle of the tree, which means the tree is gonna put energy into building branches that eventually I'm just going to prune off. And so instead of pruning off a bunch of material next time I prune the tree in the early winter, or late, late winter, early spring, Instead, if I pre-prune, if I stop the branches from growing in the wrong direction or in the wrong way now, then they'll start early on building the future material that I want them to build in the direction that I decide. So this is just kind of a way to preemptively design your tree or like I said, to train your tree, telling it which direction you want it to grow. A lot of these strategies are used in bonsai um, you can use these same strategies in any fruit tree or any bush for that matter. And so I'm going to show you how to do that with this, with my apple trees, just to make sure my apple trees grow the way that I want them to grow. All right. <clears throat> so very carefully, I'm going to separate this leaf, this uh, optical tip just above that node. Okay. And I left and left material there. So as that position develops, that bud will be able to mature and then start forming a branch going outward, creating that vase appearance that I eventually want to have form right here. Uh, this one I might actually let grow a little bit longer because I want this eventual leaf or this eventual leaf to be the position that becomes the apical leaf. And I might be able to get it. It's just, there's a chance that I'll damage that. So. I think we're okay though. So that's how I would end that particular branch. And then this particular branch right here is gonna be going that direction. And so if I can cut right above that, I should be able to tell the tree the way I want it to grow. And then if you wanna look at these other ones, I would prefer this one to probably either grow upward you kind of have to look. Like if I have one going to the left, I might want the other side going to the right. You just want to make sure the tree is balanced. You don't want too many branches on the left side or too many branches on the right side, too many branches up. You want the tree to be in balance. 
And remember, you're the gardener, you're the designer. So you tell the tree what you want it to do. I think I'm gonna make this one. I'm gonna make this leaf become my apical leaf. And then the other one's gonna be going the other direction. So I'll cut right above that. And then on this side, I kinda want this to be my apical leaf. I don't know, I want this to be my apical leaf here. I don't know if this is developed enough. Yeah, it looks like it is. Let's see what I'm doing. Actually, a little bit of aphids there. I'll come back here and smash them. Um, and I might leave these for now. These are just shading the trunk, and I don't want to sunburn the trunk. It's probably not going to get sunburned here in Missouri. Um, but eventually I'll remove that growth. I don't really want branches coming out right there. So eventually I'll prune those off. But for now I'm just going to leave them and just focus on my pre-pruning. Most of my apical dominance is going to be up near the top. That's where my new growth is going to be occurring. So I'm not really that worried about anything elongating down here. This one might do it a little bit. So I'll just take a little bit of that off just to discourage that. But otherwise that's what I would do on a pre-pruned first year apple tree. I'll do one more because I know sometimes repetition helps, especially in the teaching process. In case you don't know, I'm also a high school teacher, still learning how to do it, but I found that it really helps students when you give multiple examples, just so they don't accidentally do it the right way. And if you've ever been a student, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes you think you know what you're doing and you just accidentally did it a certain way and then you end up doing it wrong the second time because you weren't exactly sure what you're supposed to be doing. So <clears throat> once again, I'm gonna show another example. I want this to have um, a vase type shape. Let me re-elaborate re what that means. So on this tree, I want the middle to be open. So eventually I want branches pointing up in the directions around to kind of make it look like a vase. I don't want branches growing into the middle. And as you can see here, this branch right here is crossing the middle. I don't want that to happen. Um, so I'll probably, well, it depends, because I might cut these lower branches later on and this might become my main trunk. Uh, so for now, I'm probably gonna leave that because eventually I might actually prune those off depending on how vigorous this upper portion is. So for now, I'm just gonna stick to what I'm doing, decide which direction I want this to go. I'm probably gonna want this to be my apical leaf. So I'll remove that. Make sure I didn't damage the bud right there. So this will develop further, become an apical leaf here, or this will become the apical leaf, which means the bud right above the apical leaf will become my new branch that's gonna be doing most of my growth. And that's gonna go out that direction. This one over here, I'm gonna to want to go this direction. So I'm gonna pick this leaf, so just above that leaf. I'm going to remove. <clears throat> this one is pointing outward here. Um, well, this branch is pointing this direction. It's not pointing this direction. It's not pointing this direction. It's pointing this direction. So I'm gonna cut off the stuff just above that. And that's gonna encourage the bud that's um, dormant there to come alive. The entire branch will send nutrients to that bud and it'll continue growing outward. But that's going to delay this a little bit, which is good because I want to give this branch right here time to further um, thicken and grow and um, widen and get stronger. Again, this one right here is grow is this branch right here is growing this leaf's direction, not this leaf's direction, not that direction, not that direction, not that direction. This is the correct direction. So I'm going to remove that. Um, this leaf is growing this direction, not that, that, or that. So I'm gonna cut right above the leaf that's growing the right direction. <clears throat> and if you look at that, that's a little out of balance. I feel like that branch is a little bit too long. So I might actually go a little lower here and cut right there. That looks a little bit more in balance. And again, as long as you don't cut off more than say, you know, 10%, it doesn't really matter. 
probably go more than that if you really wanted to. So that's my direction, just above that, snip. And again, one last one. This is my direction. Easy peasy. <clears throat> and then one last example. With your hourglass or whatever your future design is that you want. That's my direction. So just above there. Um, that's my direction. probably leave that position because there's not a terminal leaf growing in the direction that I want. This one's growing in the direction I want. <clears throat> I guess I can just cut it there. Yeah, I think that'll work. And that'll encourage the bud right above this leaf, like I explained, to take over. Last up, we have this one. That one's almost feeling like it's crossing into the crown, so I want to make sure that I'm picking a leaf that's growing in the right direction. It looks like this leaf is growing, is the last leaf growing in the correct direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right above it. This leaf is really, or this branch right here is just out of balance too long. Eventually that'll probably get removed, but for now I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna pick this leaf right here to be my terminal leaf. So above that, I snip. Okay, so that's the basic idea by, of how I like to prune my fruit trees, especially my apple trees. If I wanna create that vase type open shape and then have the middle just kind of be open. That allows sun to come in there, make sure your fruit gets properly ripened, prevents mold and other problems. If you're in a humid area, that's probably the best way to do it. If you're not super humid, it might not be a big deal, but it's still, you want to make it look like that apple tree look that you'd expect. And that's one way to do it. I'm not saying it's the only way. That's the way I like to do it. So I hope that helps you.